stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest stand best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will clean guess what? We're going to finally finish this extra long psalm. Uh, kicking it off with verse 153, the letter Resh. Look upon my affliction and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your mercies, O Lord. Revive me according to your ordinances. Many are my persecutors and my adversaries, yet I do not turn aside from your testimonies. I behold the treacherous and loathe them, because they do not keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Revive me, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. The sum of your word is truth. Every one of your righteous ordinances is everlasting. The letter Shin. Princes persecute me without cause. But my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great spoil. I hate and despise falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous ordinances. Those who love your law have great peace, and nothing causes them to stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. The letter Tav, verse 169. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. Let my lips utter praise, for you teach me your statutes. Let my tongue sing of your word, for all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live that I may praise you, and let your ordinances help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we know that you're coming back in glory, and that day draws closer with each passing moment. Alleluia. We know that the prophets and redeemed people of old were blessed through the things that they suffered. We know that the righteous suffer and sinners prosper only temporarily. We can see their fleeting prosperity all around us at the moment. Yet, you continue to uphold us with sufficient grace to endure every tribulation and you make a way for us to escape every temptation. Please provide us with patience, courage, and strength, and energize our hearts to godliness, even as you humble us through our trials. We know that a day of justice is coming, 
when you, Lord Jesus, will be revealed from heaven with your mighty angels in flaming fire to deal out retribution to all who do not obey the gospel. Enemies of your gospel, including all who are prosperous in this life but poor towards you, have nothing to look forward to in eternity but judgment. Everything they have ever gained will be lost. But for those of us who hear your voice, we will behold your face in righteousness. We will be satisfied and transformed into living images of you. You have made us your own sons and daughters and joint heirs for all eternity. So we come to you as humble, undeserving sinners to worship you, the Most High God, Righteous Judge, Father of Glory, Creator of the Universe. Thank you for every blessing, including our trials, and especially the agony and suffering that you had to endure on our behalf. You are great and worthy of our praise, and we lift up these prayers in your holy name. Amen. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Take care.